thank God this phone has so much room because I record so much stuff on here and never look at it again and some of it is like hours of like pointless video and then maybe there was something that happened in the middle of that video and I told myself that it would be awesome if I used it someday and then I don't do it right away so obviously like I'm gonna have to go through everything which means watching the entire pointless video I'm just gonna need to get some more motivation that I don't have uh, but I'm trying even though my try might feel like it's really not good enough um, it's also like whose timeline timeline am I on and anyone who's judging me have they ever experienced it themselves? And probably not. Um, but the people who are not judging me either really want to learn about what other people go through and they want to grow and, you know, make the world a better place. Or there are people who think the same way but they are going through it and they want to understand like what it is they're going through and not hate themselves for it so that's what I'm working on is not hating myself for everything that I do and experience and I'm trying to like feel a desire for life again and it's really hard and when places are not accessible it makes it even harder because places not being accessible I used to always make it work like I got paralyzed when I was 18 <clears throat> in a motorcycle accident as the passenger and I used to just make it work, like I would get around, I would crawl up steps, I would drag my wheelchair up, I would always be working out, so I'd be like, oh, it's just another workout, like, I would just go hard at everything I did, and I also had this, like, belief that, like, I was on the road to overcoming it, and I just gotta keep pushing through, and I think that's a good mindset to have, I mean, it helped me, it, got me far it helped me make things happen but it wasn't like the healing mindset that I hope I have now where I'm understanding that this is life like it's not about overcoming the depression and just clearing that of my mind and becoming a chill person who can just live the American dream and like have it all together and step by step and have this career and everything um that it's it's about always pushing through and figuring out what makes us connect and what gives us desire and what the point of life is <coughs> and how we can help heal each other and ourselves from all the stuff that gets stuck in our mind and body and ability to connect to nature and to animals and um I'm drying so I'm in the hot tub by myself and dog sitting by myself Coming out here was really facing my anxiety and my fear and it's not accessible, like definitely never easy, you know, like there's a step to get onto the first porch part and I have a beer in my hand and my phone and I'm like, okay, I should maybe leave my wheelchair here and then waddle to the hot tub. but. 
I don't have shoes on, which it's hard to find shoes that work without my toes curling and hurting. And, um, and it jams my ankles and it makes my tendons on fire and the skin on fire and it's not good for my joints. And um, like I said, when I was younger, I used to just make it happen, but I'm feeling it now, I'm 32, but disability makes you age a lot faster because you're working your joints in ways they were not meant to be worked and you're overworking them because you're missing like half your body. So um, it's just a lot. But I did a wheelie, I put the beer down, made sure the dog didn't get out while I get my wheelchair through the door. And then I did a wheelie down the step, got the beer. And then it's flat after that, came over, blah, blah, blah. But it's just a lot. And getting back in my wheelchair when I'm in chlorine water and um, it's like I need a towel for my chair and then a towel for the bathroom floor and a towel for the shower. It's dry off after, obviously, but I think I'm making it confusing. Like, I don't have to have a towel for the chair and the floor. I could use the towel from the chair for the floor. But what I'm trying to say is the chair is going to get covered in chlorine water and then that goes into a cushion and you got to clean that out and... Also, like salt water, the same thing. It's just like you gotta think about that all the time. And it's not the end of the world, but it does give me some anxiety because I can barely think about the basic things that I need to do things in life. And uh, there's just a lot more involved in the process of making it happen now. And there's the process of wondering if I'm wearing my joints out too much and I should not do what it takes to participate in that and sit here, but I'm sad if I sit here, it's not helping me. I need freedom, I need to clear my mind, I need fresh air, but it's so overwhelming, the thought of it. It's just like not totally possible. Like, it's just not hard to explain. I could go on and on, but I don't want to be on my phone this whole time. So I don't, I don't know. That's a, that's some thought process. Yep.